hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can reflash the ios firmware on your iphone 7 plus this method might be the same for all iphones so yeah let's get started okay so head over to the links in the description down below and you will come to this page so the first one is the apple usb driver now you need to install apple usb drivers by you know clicking the check for updates in your windows update settings but for some people windows update might not be working correctly so this is another simple method to get apple usb drivers installed on your computer all you have to do is copy the command over here open powershell as administrator and then paste the command and hit enter this will pull the drivers directly from the microsoft update catalog and then install it onto your computer very easy now we just wait for the driver to install Alright as you can see the drivers are installed and it's saying a reboot might be needed so it is better to reboot your computer once. Ok so a quick reboot later we have successfully installed the apple usb drivers thanks Nelokuro for the easy method. Next up we need to download itunes. Now again you will also have to download itunes from the microsoft store but again for some people microsoft store might not be working so if you scroll down a bit you can download the dedicated desktop application of itunes. So mine is windows i'm gonna choose windows and here you need to download accordingly whether your pc is 64 bit or 32 bit so if mine is 64 bit i just need to click on this button over here and the download will start i'm not gonna download it as i have already downloaded it next up is the ipsw firmware file for your iphone so i'm gonna be doing this on an iphone so i'm gonna choose iphone and then you need to scroll and find your iphone so mine is the iphone 7 plus so i'm gonna scroll down to where the 7 plus is it's over here now as you can see there are two models of the iphone 7 plus the global and the gsm variant if you don't know which model your device is you can just head over here and then click on the identify my device button over here and you will come to this page select your device which is iphone and here you need to just enter your phone's model number so mine is a1661 oh i typed 55 okay so yeah a1661 and once you type in your phone's model number hit on the identify my device button over here and as you can see it automatically takes me to the dedicated page so mine is the global variant okay so now you can only flash signed ipsws you cannot flash unsigned ipsws the itunes application will completely reject it but there is a way to bypass that and i think i'm gonna show you that in another video but for now we're going to be flashing only the signed ipsw click on that and then as soon as you hit the download button over here the download should start i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again and here are the basic instructions and if you want to verify your download you can just copy this command and head over to where your ipsw firmware file is and then hold shift and then hit right click on your mouse select open powershell window here and just paste the command which we copied earlier we're gonna give it some time all right as you can see the hash value of the sha1 algorithm i mean the sha1 i don't know what you call it so yeah to verify it the easiest method is just copy this and then oh wait yeah so copy this i'm gonna hit ctrl c on my keyboard go back to your browser and then hit ctrl f 
hold on a second and hit ctrl f and then paste what you have copied and as you can see if these match then your file is verified properly your file is downloaded properly and the verification is complete so we are good to go all right once you have downloaded the files you can exit out of your browser and then first we need to install itunes so double click on the itunes setup give it a second to load all right you can hit next and i don't want these i'm gonna uncheck these and then you can hit install click yes on the administrator prompt All right, the iTunes application is installed successfully. Now it is better to give your computer a reboot. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so one quick reboot later, we can move on. So first up, open iTunes. Select agree. And now you need to connect your iPhone to your PC. I'm gonna do that and you need to enter the passcode if you have set any screen lock you need to enter that for the pc to access your phone and looks like it's asking me to restart the computer again so i'm just gonna do that real quick all right another restart later we are back again so open itunes and then connect your phone to your pc and again i need to unlock the iphone for the pc to access the phone all right as you can see our phone is detected over here so yeah iphone 7 plus okay so it is recommended to take a backup of your data because this will erase all the data on your phone you can back it up you can back up everything to icloud or you can back up everything to your pc i'm just gonna back it up to my computer real quick okay so once you have taken the backup of your phone we can continue it is recommended to remove the sim card and also log out of your apple account because during the setup screen it's just going to ask you to you know update this update that log into this log into that we don't want that so it is better to remove the sim card and also log out of your apple account you can always log back in all right so we need to click the restore iphone button don't click it just yet you need to press and hold the shift key and then select the restore iphone button now this will open a file explorer again browse to where you have stored your ipsw firmware and you have to just double click on the firmware file as you can see it says itunes will erase and restore your iphone to ios 15.8.4 and will verify the restore with apple all right hit the restore button and now it's just a waiting game it's gonna take a lot of time i think to complete the restoration process so just yeah let it finish and just sit back and relax
all right as you can see the phone is rebooted your iphone has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting please leave your iphone and uh, uh, before i could read it it just went off <laughs> So yeah, the phone is rebooting and I think it's set to keep your phone connected to the USB uh, to keep it connected to your PC until the phone turns on. So yeah, let's wait. it's saying success your iphone has been unlocked on uh, my pc to set up and sync this iphone click continue no i don't want to sync anything to this phone i want to start fresh and as you can see we are in the setup screen the phone is saying hello hello iphone 7 plus <laughs> so uh, yeah guys you now you just have to set up your phone like normal like you just got a new phone and it will boot into the uh, the home screen and you can use your phone like normal so yeah guys that is it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video